Tis I, Alicia. How are you? Hope you're doing good. Today we're going to look into this idea that perhaps the Kardashians are a little worried and trying to control Kanye West. No, it couldn't be. So one of you lovelies, you know who you are, sent me a message about this little, you know, entertainment video where they were talking that uh, perhaps Mrs. Kim is trying to control Kanye's life even though he's married. And the theory, allegedly, is that Kanye got married so they could not put him under a conservatorship. Mm. Now, I did do a reading uh, previously about Kanye getting married, and it looked like the uh, main reason I got was for business dealing, so he looks like he's stable because he's having problems with his businesses, obviously, because, you know, you know. And that looked like the main concern there was to make sure he could continue on with business. Uh, now, I didn't even consider that perhaps Kanye also is trying to avoid getting uh, put on a hold. You know, the one that he alleged that um, Harley guy arranged last time. And so I thought, hmm, let us look into what's going on here. Hmm. All right, so I'm going to be using the uh, Stray Cat tarot. Hopefully there's nothing here that's like too dirty bird for, her, you know, people, uh, YouTube people. Anyhow, and one of my lovelies, you know who you are. Thank you very much. I hope you got your thank you card. Um, got me this and so many other little goodies. Truly appreciate it. You guys are super kind to me. Love, love, love you guys. Uh, let's see what's going on. Did Kanye get married? So, uh, Kim couldn't put him under a conservatorship again. Those were the stories that were coming out right before all of a sudden it's like, Kanye got married. What? Mm. Let's see. Did Kim want to get him in that conservatorship? And Kanye's like, no, you ain't. I'm getting married. Excuse me. Oh my. I, I'm i going to say A. This is all alleged because it's a tarot card reading for entertainment purposes only. B. Allegedly it looks like that was the plan. Kim was getting ready to see if she could uh, put a hold on her ex somehow. Now I don't know how that would work legally but you know we've seen crazy things with Britney so maybe it's a possibility. Oh my, my goodness, my goodness. Oh. It's like a, it's like the mafia. No one gets out of this thing. Uh, oh, wow. Okay, so, spectacles. Ah! It's like the whole world, world's opened up to me. Uh, so yes, at the center of the situation, allegedly, it looks like Kim was going to try and pull another, let's see if we can get him back under control through certain methods that have worked before, you know what I'm talking about. Um, in the past, our struggle's been that, you know, Kanye's got his own mind and free will and, you know, he does what he wants and we don't like that shit. And uh, the, they were going to make a decision coming up that to see if they could do this. Uh, the This is an idea of solving a problem here. This was the reason why they wanted to do it because Kanye was becoming a problem for them, their brand, uncontrollable. Uh, their overriding concern here is uh, obviously De Niro. It's always De Niro. Money, 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 money. Um, so I believe they have, at least I think Kanye owns part of Skims. I don't know if he's a part of any of our other businesses. I don't know what entanglements they would have monetarily, but it appears that he's a problem to her monetary things going forward. Um, there was a fear here, though, that perhaps they weren't going to be able to get this done, getting him uh, locked away. <sighs> I didn't seem to like really stop the idea from forming. We have uh, the emotional undercurrent is trying to find a balance with this would be a balance between public perception and trying to get control, trying to like 
thread the needle if we could. Uh, the primary obstacle here uh, was uh, the creative way to frame this to make this seem like this was like the best idea ever. And their obsession here is just stopping Kanye. Just stop him. He is not to move on. Do not pass go. Do not collect $200. Do not get a new lookalike wife. Do not, do not, do not. We do not want that, Kanye. Stop it, please. Wow. Alrighty then. Let's continue on. We looked into Kanye's marriage, and I can't remember in the last reading because I don't go back and watch my readings. Anyhow, uh, I do recall I was saying that their uh, marriage or bonding or whatever it was uh, was for business reasons. Now, I don't remember if I asked if it was legal or spiritual. I don't know if we'll get that information, but we can try. So let's see. Is Kanye's marriage legal? or just spiritual. I assume that, I don't know if that can be made private. I don't know, who knows. I, I know I'm not gonna go spend the money to go look through all the county records or wherever it would happen. And no, I don't have time for that. All right, spiritual legal marriage here, Kanye and his new bride, Bianca. With the King of Swords there, I'm going to say that I think it is a legal marriage or some like, I don't know, legal partnership. God only knows what we can do in this day and age. You know, I could marry a cat probably, but it looks like there is something here to making it legal and binding because we're trying to protect uh, the devil from coming after our shit. Who's the devil, you ask? Could be a big family on TV. Um, the unspoken fear, fear about keeping uh, his legacy, his family together, keeping power control over that. Uh, his concern is that there would be a fight um, regarding him marrying this lady. So with the King of Swords legal agreements, I'm going to tend to say that I think this was a legal marriage because he's concerned about the mother of his children and he's looking at the future of what he could be losing uh, his driving ambitions, continuing to build up wealth. Um, his obstacle is queen of cups, dealing with an irrational person, seemingly irrational, one that has like one face for one thing and another face for something else, you know, the flip flopper of emotions. Ah, and he's just looking to have a happy family. It's like, I think for him, this he sees this as this was the um, most logical way to continue to move forward uh, without being married to his former bride. So there's that. So why are the Kardashians, I mean, beyond money, money, why are they, or Kim, we'll say Kim and extended family, if they're involved, caring. But why are they so concerned um, about Kanye's new marriage? It seems that they have have some concerns. They've put it out in the media. They're not too concerned with, uh, or at least the Kardashian side or Kim's side, is not too concerned with dressing uh, North in a questionable outfit. But this they're concerned about. So why are they concerned about Kanye's marriage? Oh, sneaky snacker, you don't say. Nice to see you. Sneaky snacker, if you're new to the channel, Seven of Swords, when that pops up, that means that somebody's trying to do some shady, sneaky shit, and I put a coin in our box at the end of the year. We're going to count, well, I'll count them. You can just sit there and donate it to a uh, actually good charity, not something shady. So... That's what we're doing here. So we, let's pay our sneaky snocker tax. This is the traditional card, in case you're wondering what it looks like. We haven't gotten too many this year, and we're not off to a booming start. Interesting. So what do we have here? Why is she so concerned? She's, um, essentially, I feel like she's been outplayed. In terms of she can't have the control that she wants to over him. She doesn't want to fade into the background. She doesn't want to be irrelevant to him, which is interesting because now it feels like Kanye must have been like a really big influence in her life in probably more ways than one. She wants to break them up. That's what I would say because the driving ambition here is why she's so concerned. She's concerned with the lovers and she doesn't like this. 
no, no, no. Uh, her past struggle was she was able to get away with shady shit. And um, the concern here is like, might be some like secrets coming to the service surface with relationship to this new marriage about her that she does not want. She is, uh, she wants to be the uh, sharp tongue, witty person who has all those snappy comebacks and she's the one in charge and you know don't mess with her she doesn't have it so they're done like fair fight like it's over like you're not a uh, queen bee here um primary obstacle too is denaro the, the queen of pentacles you know she's kind of like a self-made woman right and this is an obstacle for her is like i feels almost kind of like when you're so used to like being able to buy a result uh influence through power um and you, now the power is taken away there's she's afraid there's secrets going on and i think she's been trying to run like sneaky stuff and uh, she does not like this let's pull out our mildred pain Let's see what else we can find out. What is up with the lovers? Why is she concerned about this relationship? Feather, sage, tooth, eye, and heart. Feather, sage, tooth, eye, and heart. So part of this is that there's going to be uh, new messages. This is weird. It feels like new messages instilled in Kanye's brain that are a counter to what she was instilling in his brain. I mean, I don't know about, we haven't looked to see if this new bride is Eyes Wide Shut crew, but if he's looking to get away from the Eyes Wide Shut crew, this lady might be helping him shaking all the cobwebs, which it looked like he was kind of getting into that, you know, shaking the cobwebs out of that um because there's some type of cleansing here new messaging what's a bone about i mean tooth sorry tooth bone she's lost something permanent got it tooth the eye she's vigilant she's watching them and the heart strong emotions so well, she definitely has strong emotions she doesn't like this though does not like it she's not liking how this could turn into a different direction because interesting like if you think about it in terms of like the kardashians men once they like leave none of them seem to stick around right and once they leave a lot of them stay within the fold i don't know i don't know about um lamar is he still in the fold he still talks nicely of them but oh and the other one Humphreys, he doesn't talk at all anymore about them, but they, you have Scott in the fold. Um, I don't know if Pete Davidson was there for a hot minute, if he'll stay in the fold. Um, Caitlin's adjacent, but still kind of in the fold. Uh, so once they, they don't always like go off on their own, and I think this is losing control of the situation, allegedly. Um, is Kanye in danger? Let's see, is Kanye in danger? I don't know that they can do anything to him now, but at the same point, just when you think you have autonomy, who knows? Living in crazy times here, are we not? There they are again. He's got to push back. He has got to push back. Oh my. There's going to be some gossip coming out about him. They know that he has secrets he can share. She knows, Kim knows, that she's the most powerful enemy in terms of what she could bring forth. He's got to be up on the defensive. There's a lot of ideas here that they're going to think about bringing forth that may not be the best. And, um, yeah, there's going to be a lot of gossip coming out about him. I think that's what's next. They want him done. They want him done. So in terms of danger, I don't know that it's actual physical danger. This feels more like reputation danger. He needs to be careful for that. It looks like they're looking to uh, get their claws out and meow, go after him that way. Um, let's see how Kanye's feeling about the Kardashians. Um, 
starting up with this, uh, we're very concerned. How does Kanye feel about the Kardashians in relation to his new relationship? Sneaky snackers again. Two for one. Doo doo. My goodness, just when I said we weren't getting enough. Gonna have to do some more Kardashian readings. Okay. All right. So he knows he has to have his guard up. He might want to expose his own secrets. Just when you thought they were done. Doesn't look like it. Looks like we're going to be moving forward, uh, exposing his secrets. He's going to feel like his back is up against the wall, and he wants to bring it right back to them. He has receipts, and he will bring them back. Um, he's He's got receipts to bring back, for sure. Underlying energy, page of wands. He will bring out his own new messages. So he is on, on alert, ready. But he also has his own evidence to go back at them. So kind of feels like if they want to start, if they want to start this with him, he's ready to go to battle. Okay, well, you go, Kanye. You go to battle with the Kardashians. I'm all for it. So with that, thank you so much for watching. Come join me in the Moon Moth Manor at my website, aliciawicker.com. And I wish you a wonderful rest of your day. Adios.